Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? Welcome to my Fallout 76, my build status video. This is episode 2, so let's start wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so in this video I'm going to be covering my build. I only have one character, so every time I'm going to be doing some major changes, I'll be making videos for those who are new. So, now, let's take a look on what I've changed. Boom! What? I thought it's not working. Okay, now it's working. <laughs> Alright, so, what did I change? First of all, I changed my uh, points. I removed my charisma and invested everything into agility. So, these are the current cards that I'm using. Uh, strength did not change, Perception did not change, Edurance did not change from the previous episode. But, if you haven't watched it, let me quickly show you what I'm using here. Also, I will explain what cards I switch, and when and why do I use them. So, uh, pretty much, Travel Agent is the best card of, in Charisma, especially if you have Charisma 1. You get to save your caps when you're traveling. Intelligence and Gunsmith w in collab with Luck of the Draw is perfect. Uh, like within July, I repaired my gun only one time. Just one time I repaired my gun. Usually this thing triggers uh, before the gun breaks and I can keep using it and using it and using it. Thanks to the Gunsmith perk which uh, slowers the break of my guns by 30%. So that is amazing. Now, since I'm a vast uh, player, uh, Action Boy, 45% faster regeneration of action points. Sneak per works perfectly, especially with maxed agility, uh, plus my weeding set, uh, which makes agility even higher. So I'm I can pretty much stun in front of the enemy, and he's not he's not able to see me unless if I uh, do a lot of noise. Uh, escape artist, really helpful. Gun Fu, uh, every time you swap on uh, in VATS, if I kill a target, it automatically swaps to the next target and increases my damage. In collaboration with Adrenaline, it's like bam, 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 bam. And big packs just die. And to make this work really nice, the this perk card just comes into big play. 35% uh, chance to restore or all action points. So unfortunately, I might actually gonna remove this one. Although this is a crucial for a low HP build, uh, but I don't don't remember the last time I actually got hit by an enemy. <laughs> so I might as well change that for um, where is it? For this one right here. So it increases by another 15%. Oh no, wait, wait. that's that's another one. That's not not the one I was looking for. There's another one that increases, or maybe I misunderstood something. Hold on, I'm pretty sure I had that right. No, I misunderstood. It, it's a crit critical meter. Lol. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe I did make, make make misunderstood that card. I just man, there's just so many cards, so many play styles. It's just insane. Super duper. I use it all the time whenever I'm doing any crafting, like food, ammo and everything else like that because it, it, it has a 30% chance to double the results which is freaking amazing especially when you're like crafting guns etc it can double the results you can scrap them and get mods I'm not sure if that was fixed in any patches so far I haven't tested out I haven't crafted any guns uh, for a long time now and uh, that's pretty much the only card that I replace in luck Oh yeah, well, if I need wood, then I would take the wood chucker. It's a really good one, but I don't think I use any of the other cards ever. <laughs> like maybe when I'm fighting the Scorch Queen, uh, queen uh, the Queen, I would remove this card because there's no point. But actually, if if I focus not on killing the Queen, but the units around it, it's pretty good. Come to think of it, I never for the past couple of uh, Queen fights, I never changed this card. Basically. In reality, I pretty much never change this. It always stays the same. But the glowing ones, sometimes I remove this one and put the glowing one. So I do another 60% more damage to the glowing enemies. That's pretty much the only change in combat playstyle that I do. Uh, when crafting, well, 100% it's the ammo smith. 
two stars in collaboration with the super duper and I forget about my ammo problems to be 100 <laughs> percent you know uh, the intelligence in the intelligence will definitely if I'm crafting something armor and gunsmith I don't use the demolition expert previously I used to use when I used my TCE handmade rifle a lot now I don't use it at all and uh, well good fix if I need to fix armor same goes for the uh, for the weapon weapon artisan this I use all the time so whenever I'm scrapping weapons a whole bunch of them uh, this card is just superb it gives a lot more extra junk it's like I I really love to kill super weapons and they drop a lot of weapons but that was one of the top reasons why I moved my sort of camp port into this location plus uh, legendary farms and no I don't uh, mess up other guys um, farming as well the thing is once they come to buy stuff from my vending machines they respawn the mutants and these turns don't do a whole bunch of damage so the player still has the ability to take a shot per the super mutant and still get the loot so I'm not stealing any legendaries I already had that in comments before <laughs> Tested, proven. <laughs> All right. So what else do I change? Uh, in this per per, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't do any other changes. Ah, yeah. In charisma, why I leave it three? It's because I still want to use the hard bargain. So, hard bargain or the inspirational to get more XP. But I, I, to be honest, I don't remember the last time I used this card. I'm pretty much leveling up pretty quickly. I'm like. Uh, level uh, 319 yeah 319 so m my stats with my uh, pretty much uh, armor set are the following 20 strength 34 perception 20 charisma intelligence 21 uh, agility 34 luck 32 that's if I'm not eating any foods and you know any other stuff that gives additional buffs uh, okay so in terms of items I hope I didn't miss anything. Well, the guns never, ch well, haven't changed. I'm still using these two only. Uh, yeah, I already told you about them before, so they haven't changed. Well, the outfit did change. <laughs> I find it really cool. Uh, then, I did have a change in my weaponry. So everything is has the ability to unweave plus three to all st stats and by the way I think I will try to look for a more weapon rate reduction by 20% this will really help I haven't found so far any additional uh, reduction so I'm not sure if they actually add up but if they do add up that's gonna be amazing so this is a, this is a new one I haven't shown this one before also, I did loot, uh, this one I looted from the vendor, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, vending, buying series that I'm doing. Yeah, so these are the ones that I'm currently using. And this one I also, so, yeah. And this one I, I looted from an enemy, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I'm pretty very satisfied. <laughs> Thanks for the sub, James Bob. This sometimes happens when I'm recording, and uh, I keep forgetting to turn off the, the Streamlabs when I'm recording, and sometimes somebody joins <laughs> and subscribes. So, thanks for the sub, welcome to Z Clan. Alright, so that's about it in terms of items, stats, weapons. So, pretty much the, the biggest change was here and the cards that I use, and I'm telling you, this is very, very overpowered. Like, I take down enemies, whatever, like, there's a lot of them, big ones, just constantly vast shooting, and it's just the perfect PvP playstyle for me. I don't know how it works for you, but this is the, the, be the best thing for me. Well, what I am looking for, for PvP PV quick kills, I'm looking to get uh, the unweeding, three, plus 3 to all stats, that's 100%. Action point refresh speed, that's a must have. And the final one is for weapon weights reduction for PvE will be great if they add up. And because I'll be able to store a lot more legendaries on my character 
and uh, in this case I'll be able to carry more legendaries and stuff and have more legendaries and, and stuff for scrapping and selling and other stuff because uh, with these patches it turned out that it's a little bit harder to get more legendaries now than previously especially when uh, you have just the legendary uh, badge next to an enemy but no stars they won't give you a legendary so you'll actually need to find a legendary with one star or two stars or three stars so well it's not that super difficult but it's still not as many as before but things that the market dropped the price uh, I buy them <laughs> uh, off people sometimes people sell uh, three stars for 1000 caps and I just take it whatever just for the scrapping purposes but in reality what I'm looking at is agility as my final so that's gonna be another plus five to agility why agility because it gives more bats uh, and uh, I think is the best but perception is also good because it increases the accuracy in bats so I don't know maybe it's a, it's a good thing to find different sets sort of combine them I'm planning not to sell any of these three stars uh, with this effect. I want to get uh, all the sets together and like have a collection of it, or maybe even sell it for a really high price. And for the perfect one that I'm looking for is most probably going to be the combat uh, armor, especially the heavy one because there are paint skins and uh, they look is amazing. <laughs> well. The outfits that I have are also amazing, so it's cool. And I think I pretty much covered all of my changes that I did so far. Although I was thinking that this video was to come in a couple of months and not in a couple of weeks. The previous first episode I made at the start of the July. Uh, I do have a, a thinking of what I want to make a change, but I'm not sure I'm still thinking about it. And I'm going to keep it a secret for now. Uh, but I need a, a hell of a lot of more perk cards, to, I mean, these points to make it happen. Uh, yeah, a hell of a lot. I have 19 and I need most probably another 25 and see how that's going to work. But before I do any of those changes, I still want to check a couple of things. So that's my current build. It works perfectly for PvE. I paused PvP activity because of all those glitches. Uh, cheats on PC is just, there's a lot of cheaters. So I'm just waiting for Bethesda to finally implement some really good hardcore anti cheating system that will actually ban players who need to be banned for using cheats. Because if you go, like, for example, Google and check if there are any cheats for download, you'll be well surprised, like I was a couple of months ago. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it, Zikline. I hope you enjoyed it, and that's my build. Maybe you got some suggestions to my build, by the way, and uh, I'll be more than happy to listen out to it. I mean, I'm still sticking to my uh, Bats Auto Commando build. I'm not planning to use any other guns, etc. Although I was planning to. Ah! There's just so many things I would like to do, but I just don't have the time. <laughs> So, you know, drill, don't forget to leave that like, don't forget to leave your comment, maybe some, just some suggestions on my build. And, uh, by the way, if you're commenting, please don't use any profanity, because uh, those comments go on hold, and most of the times I did not uh, let them go live. So, I read them, but I delete them. And uh, don't promote third-party websites that are selling in-game currencies and uh, guns, or skins, or whatever. I don't support that business and if you will promote it you'll get uh, banned automatically. If you're an employee of that company, uh, don't send me any sponsorship offers because uh, instantly decline them. So guys, thanks all for your time, I hope you enjoyed the video and you have a good morning, day and night, whatever you guys lucky it at and I'll see you on the next video. By the way, if you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan, if you want to help my channel grow, please do consider sharing this video somewhere in the media. Just uh, Facebook or Twitter, or maybe save it to your own favorite YouTube playlist. So, thank you, and you have a good one. Bye. Like, <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I thought I saw everything. Woohoo! <laughs> uh.